Hi crafty friends, hey it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. Hope you're having a wonderful day. On this video, I'm gonna show you how to make these absolutely, I think, adorable flowers from start to finish. And honestly, I'm using um, canvas duck fabric, uh, some red and blue ticking, some lace, um, vintage buttons, a little bit of uh, batting, but you could make this same project out of anything that you have in your house. I mean, seriously, any kind of fabric, new or reclaimed. So as you're hopping on, say hi, let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if you have any questions, feel free to sprinkle. I'm gonna tell you how this all started and kind of what my thought process was. So, um, last, I think it was last Friday, let me grab the other ones. I went to um, an antique mall, an antique show uh, in Cumming, Georgia, which is not far from where I live, called Lakewood Antique Market. And I bought these adorable little flowers from this really nice lady that had a booth. And um, she had a ton of great ideas. And I thought these were super cute, although they're not exactly my style. This is a little bit more uh, primitive than the style that I personally like. So I decided to um, purchase these um, just to support that lady and then to come home and make what would go in my decor and what would go along with my style of decorating. I also purchased one of these cute little flags from her. So we'll be doing something like this very soon too. Um, so here is one completed set. And these will be going in one of my blessing boxes, um, minus the tin, but all the pieces will. And um, so I'm going to show you everything here one at a time. But before I do that, I want to know, do you guys remember how completely crazy I was about making these stuffed bunnies at Easter? Stuffed bunnies and stuffed eggs. Well, then I made stuffed, um, stuffed carrots. <laughs> you must think I just love to stuff everything. But... This was sort of my inspiration for what I was creating here. Uh, let's see, I'll the spot to set it. So, this is how I have this one arranged, but I'm gonna pull everything out and show you, and then we're gonna make some. And uh, there's nothing complicated about anything here. Um, I just sort of made them randomly, one at a time. Um, I wanted to do a set of three, and I wanted them to have a variety of the blue ticking, the red tick ticking, and then the, um, the canvas duck fabric. All three of these things are from Walmart, okay? Um, except for the buttons. So this one, I'll show you this one, and then we'll actually work on some. This one is just canvas duck on the back. Um, a big circle of the red and white ticking, which actually I put it on backwards. You can see that the darker color is on the inside. Oops! And then a smaller round of canvas with some white buttons. I tied a little scarf around this flower's neck and I did one leaf. I think it's pretty cute. This one is canvas duck, a large piece. Then um, it's some lace that came from Hobby Lobby, which I cannot locate right now. I was getting everything out to show you, and I don't know where I put that. Anyways, it's in the um, it's in the wedding department, and it's really stiff lace, and it's just a wide roll. So that's what this is, just cut in a circle. Can you see that? And then I put a small round of the blue ticking on here and some red buttons and two leaves, and I'm gonna show you how to make the leaves in just a second. And I did a little red, red and white scarf on this one. All right, and then this one has a backing of the canvas in a big circle. It has a circle of the blue 
ticking. Then it has a circle of the um, canvas and then the red ticking. And notice that I went different directions. I didn't go horizontal or vertical. And I added this big button on it and it has two leaves. And I could, I could keep going with it if I wanted. I did slice um, different sizes of pieces from the backing to the front. Can you see that? And yeah, I think these are pretty darn cute. I think when I'm ready to do my next blessing box, whoever gets these, I think they're gonna love them. So I'm gonna show you how to do these as well. Um, all right, I have so much to show you and tell you, it's a little overwhelming. Um, all right, so to make a flower, I'm just using some of this cotton duck fabric that I got off of a bolt at my local Walmart. This is the best one that I've found because it's really stiff and that's something that you want for this kind of flower, I think. And um, this is a round that I'm gonna use for the front of this flower that we're making. So I'm going to actually pin it, and I'll hold this up in just a second pin it to my piece of cotton duck so that I know how big I want to cut it out. And I want the back of it to be bigger. So I'm just gonna cut a circle around this. And these circles do not have to be actually perfect circles because we're gonna slice this. We're gonna slice little strips and even if we didn't, uh, we're going to kind of rub it to fray it up a little bit. And it just, this is one of those crafts where it, you don't want it to look perfect. You want it to look perfectly imperfect. Okay, so here's the start of this project. And then we could go on and add like maybe another little round. I think we will in the blue. And then we could do a button. So let's just start right there. Um, okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decide how far in I want my glue and that will determine how big the poof is. And I'm gonna do my glue, I don't know, not quite half an inch outside from the, the edge. And I'm gonna go three quarters of the way around the circle and I'm gonna leave an opening so that we can stuff it. And when I put the other one on and when I do the, um, the stem, I'm gonna do it so that nothing is going up and down or, or horizontal. I like them kind of off to the side. I think they look better that way and if you're slightly off, it won't look odd, where if you have it exactly horizontal or perpendicular, it might look kind of funny. Okay, and we're using my low temperature hot glue gun, which looks like heck. <laughs> it's a Sure Bonder. Um, it's a cool shot. It's from, this one came either from Walmart or Hobby Lobby, I can't remember, but I hardly ever use a hot hot glue gun anymore because I just am tired of burning myself. So, and this was under $10. So if you're looking, and it's just a mini, if you're looking for a new hot glue gun, consider getting one that is a low temperature like that. Okay, so this is what we have. And I think I'll go ahead and do the, um, the other circle on it while I'm here. We're gonna glue, glue this one all the way on. What I love about this project is that other than the fact that they're flowers and that you're using dowels for the stem and fabric to make the flowers, you can make this any way you want. And my friend Susie, um, she sent me a picture of hers that she just made and she used denim and it was so super duper cute. She also sent me a picture of one of these guys, which I had completely forgotten about. So thank you, Susie, for jogging my memory. I'll show you how to make these. They're super easy, and they're really cute. Okay, 
So we have our three layers and I'm just gonna rough up the edge just a little bit and then we're gonna cut some snips. We're gonna do all this stuff before we add the fluff or glue the pole in there. Okay, and I did do one, this one right here, which we're gonna fiddle around with in a minute, that I decided not to cut the little petals out of. So you don't have to do that if you don't want to. I'll hold this up in just a second and show you. And you could round these if you wanted. I mean, this is one of those flowers that you can completely make your own. And the supplies, pretty nearly all of the supplies for these flowers came from my local Walmart, except for my buttons. I believe, the, well, the buttons are vintage, but you can buy buttons there too, so. Oops, that was kind of a long ways in. Oh well. Okay, so this is what we have now. And this is what I have used as my dowels, the stem for the flower. These ones came from Hobby Lobby, and the brand is Woodpile. And they were $2.99 for I don't know how many pieces, 12 pieces. But just recently, I was looking at my local Walmart, and in the kids' craft section, they had these. They're just a teeny bit thinner, and they were super inexpensive. I don't even remember what I paid for them. So you can get dowels everywhere. Or, like the lady did that I bought this from, she just went out into her yard and grabbed some twigs, some sticks. She told me, though, that she did put them on a cookie sheet in her oven, turned on like 160 for an hour or something, just in case there were any critters living inside these sticks. Uh, but that's pretty cute too, so that's totally an option. All right, so this is what we have right now, and I'm looking for my hole, and I want to put my dowel in so that, so I'm not going straight up and down. And I'm gonna just go ahead and and glue it in, or glue it on. This looks like a big lollipop, doesn't it? Okay, so I am using some of this, oh my word, it's a huge mess. It's polyfill, <laughs> ultra polyfill from Walmart, and it's split and coming out. But I'm just going to grab a big fluff and stick it in this hole here. I do have a trick also for the leaves, which you could do the whole body of the flower with this same trick if you would like, if you want it stiffer. And you can fill these guys as full or not as you want. It's completely personal preference. I like them kind of full. so far I haven't I've been so focused on my flowers I haven't looked at your comments yet you love the old-fashioned ticking I do too and you guys it's like um, it's like six dollars a yard and the blue and white ticking you can use for anything beach or summer 
The red ticking you can use for Valentine's Day, Christmas, any patriotic anything. I just think that uh, I love the ticking fabric. Okay, I'm gonna be gluing my little flower shut here. And this is what we have. And my goal, these are the other two flowers that it's gonna be living with. And this one, so, which I'm gonna continue working on this one in just a second. So I wanted it to look, them all to have a mix of red, white, and blue, but not look exactly the same. Okay, we'll come back to this one and give it some flowers. This is one that I made earlier as well, and it has the blue and white ticking on the back, and then it has a big white piece of canvas that I cut, and then it has some of that lace, and then this right here was a piece of canvas that I stenciled using the Magnolia Victorian stencil that I love so much, and some blue ink. And it goes perfect with the ticking I just think it's adorable. But I wanna add a little bit of red to this so that it all kind of ties together. Oh wait, maybe do I wanna add the red to this one? No, I think I wanna add it to this one. So I just cut a small circle and I'm just gonna plunk that on here. But not up and down, not per perfectly perpendicular or up and down, I want it to be sort of cattywampus or whatever you call that. Okay, here's the flowers that will be living together in this next batch. Aren't they cute? Oh, you like my blouse, Becky? Thank you so much. This is a loft top um, from this year, actually. Okay, so I have some strands of the blue ticking that I tore, and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. And I'm gonna go ahead and put one around this little flower's neck, a little tie. And then I'm gonna show you how to do the leaves. And then we'll go and we'll dress up the other ones and we'll then we'll do this other style of flower. I am going to cut the both sides shorter. And I'm going to put a blob of glue on the back and push my little scarf up into it so it will stay put. And, okay, for the leaves, what I did is I took a big piece of the canvas fabric, just like this, and I used a paintbrush. I did this on top of some parchment paper and I painted on a good amount of this fabric stiffener and drapery liquid. It's Eileen's brand, A-L-E-E-N-E-S, also from Walmart in the craft section, in the sewing section, actually. And I let it dry, and it's so, this piece is real stiff. And then I'm just cutting, let's see, I have some leaves here. Or at least I did. I thought I did. Where did they go? Well, I'm going to cut a couple more. And they can be absolutely whatever size you want. Here's one. I wish I would have done more of this, but didn't know how many flowers I'd be making. So here's two leaves. All right, and I'm just gonna glue those on the back of this flower. You love the stiffener, it works great. Yeah, I haven't really used it very much. This is my first time, but it does really seem to uh, do what you want it to do. Right here's our little guy. And I think that this is the one that needs um, some red buttons on it. So I grabbed some, a variety of vintage red buttons that I have. And 
let's just fiddle around. This one might only be really be able to hold one. I think it's going to be that one. So like you can see right now, obviously I didn't have any specific flowers in mind. They just evolved as I was building them. There's a little flower and I think this one could use a little tie around his neck. And in case you haven't ever watched at DIY Dreaming, this is a long piece of that ticking to get, to get a, um, a tear so you get the fringe. You're just going to make a little nip into it. Can you see that? And then you're just going to tear. That's it. It's super easy. And I'm going to pull the strings off. Hi, right here. So stay with me because I'm going to show you this other flower too, which is so, so, so cute. Okay, I'm going to put a little blob of glue on the back of this flower's neck so I can glue my little tie to it. All right, what do you think? This is the one that I didn't cut the outside of the flower. Okay. Um, 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 um. Let's do something to this one. Let's do, I do love all the buttons. Let me get a white one of some sort, a big white one. Here's a big white one. Perfect. And these were sent to me by a follower, which she knows I have a complete button thing. So I'm not going to do buttons on all of them, just on two of the three. And just like before, I'm not putting the holes straight up and down or straight horizontal. I'm doing them winky wonky. Okay, so let's make a leaf for this one. And let's just do one leaf just so it's a little bit different. We'll make it be a big one. And I'm also not gonna do a, neck, a tie around this one's neck because I don't want them all to have the exact same, you know, feeling. cute huh all right does this need anything I think this one's good and I think this one's good too so here's what that set this set is gonna look like and um, just here's just an idea of how you can arrange them I bought this little tin from Walmart to uh, yesterday and it was like four dollars now, that's kind of, um, I mean, ideally, I would just pick these things up at my local Goodwill because they're so inexpensive and there's always a zillion of them. But I bought a little block of floral foam and um, I would, I just crammed it in there. I want these flowers to be at different heights. many glue strings on them. Ooh. And I'm not super great with arranging, but I would I might do these two shorter so they could go down further into the floral foam. 
There we go. Up a little bit so that they're not both at the same height. Pretty cute, huh? Okay, let's do the other flower. Put these right here. Okay, the other flowers look like this. I don't know exactly what they remind me of. They they kind of remind me of a little bit of um, oh gosh, lavender. But they could be a lot of other things. And you can do these flowers with absolutely any kind of fabric that you want. Okay, so what you're gonna do, and you can do short or long, it just does not matter. You're gonna decide how thick you want your fabric to be, how big these little loop things you want them to be. And I'll measure this because I know somebody's gonna ask. This is about one and a, one and three quarters inches wide. So this is just a little scrap I have and I'm gonna show you with this. We're gonna just put a little bead of glue along one edge and fold our two pieces over. This looks very familiar with the loopy flower that we make here at DIY Dreaming. I have a little bit of a flower uh, obsession if you're new <laughs> at DIY Dreaming. I tell people that I like to do projects that are faith related, that are family related, or that are flower related. Okay, so it's glued together. And now you're just going to use your scissors to make some little snips. These can be uh, really close together, really far, far apart, whatever you want. I'll hold this up in just a second and show you. And also I'm gonna show you the little uh, metal things that I'm putting them on. But you could put this on any kind of metal that you want. Okay, can you see where how those little snips are? They don't go all the way through. And they're not specifically at exactly the, it's not like I measured to make them be exactly at the right angle. Okay, and this is the, this is what the little pieces of metal that I'm using look like. They came from Walmart in the floral section. They're just, um, they're floral wire that's wrapped in like a green string almost. And I don't have the package here with, with me, I don't think. Nope, I don't. Uh, but I was showing this the other day when I was talking about making the quilt flowers, the stacked quilt flowers that we'll be doing here soon. Okay, so to start this flower, you are going to take a little band of glue on the very end part and you're gonna lay your metal right in it. Can you see that? And then, you're gonna put a little band of glue on the next one over and you're just gonna fold them in half. And basically, you're sandwiching or hiding your little piece of wire in between two parts. All right? Then, you just are gonna start pulling and twisting and pulling it down and every so often, you're gonna do a little bit of glue to hold it in place. I'll hold this up in just a second. So I'm literally just twisting this around my floral wire. And about every, I don't know, three or four twists, I'm just putting a little blob of glue on it. You could do that the whole way down if you wanted. It's just up to you. And um, so I was saying thank you to my friend Susie for her idea for reminding me about these adorable flowers. And she did her flowers using denim and 
some other kind of blue and red fabric. So it doesn't, it does not have to be ticking. It can be whatever you want it to be. Okay, we're almost getting to the end of this piece. There we go. And I can snip this shorter. combinations of three. So I would do three, um, three of these for each floral arrangement. So like two shorts and one long, or two longs and one short, or you could do them all in the same color. So here's a, a piece that I pre-glued. Can you see that? And I'm going to just snip it and then we're going to put that on so you can see how you do the longer ones. It's basically the same thing, but you do not want to cut. Oh. <laughs> I was just in the process of saying, don't cut all the way through, and I did. My golly, how embarrassing. That's like yesterday when I had my big goof on the napkins that we were making with the seashell stencils. Yep. I could still use that piece that I cut all the way through if I wanted, but I have plenty here. And we could use these to make, oh. <laughs> we will keep going for this one. We could use these to make those, um, those loopy rolled, those like twisted loopy flowers. Do I have any of those out here? Like this, if we wanted. This is the exact same technique to make this flower. So almost everything that I used for this project, really except for the buttons, uh, came from Walmart. Super affordable. You can make, um, do it your style, and it, you can just use this idea to make something that's 100% you. You know, with whatever you want. Like. Okay, so I have two pieces. Let's get another one of these stems out. And we'll start right here, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put some glue on one of the little things and put my wire in there. And I'm going to put some glue on the next one and I'll basically fold it over so it's like a little sandwich in between those two pieces. And you can't see the, the wire. What did I just knock off my desk? I think it was a button. Okay, so then we're just going to start twisting. And every now and again, I'm going to do a little blob of glue just to tack it down. Let's see how quick these come together. Oh gosh. I'm going to show you if you make the mistake that I did and you cut all the way through, I'm going to show you how you can uh, remedy that. You can just keep going. Okay. So I'm just going to start right on top of where I was. Continue rolling and twirling it down. I do you think I need some extra glue to secure this? It 
So what do you guys think so far? Or you could just make it a short one. Yeah, I did. I do have a couple of short ones. Um, and that, Susie, thank you so much for reminding me about this flower. I haven't made it in a while. And um, it's so super easy and it looks so adorable in this kind of patriotic theme, I think. they look like and I think they're super cute they go great with the other part of the project okay now I want to show you a couple more flowers that I'm in process with just because they're a little bit different all right um, these two flowers here I used some of that um, batting. This batting came from Walmart. I didn't, at the time I purchased it, I didn't know what I was getting exactly. So I bought a bag of it that is suitable to go in the microwave because apparently people make these pouches that you put your baked potatoes in and then you cook them in the, uh, in the microwave or oven. Um, so this could go in the microwave, <laughs> but I did not know that at the time. It looks just like any other batting. It's that same creamy color. And with this flower right here, it's got moss all over it. I used it for the front, for this little piece that juts out. And then this is the, um, the duck fabric. And then this is just a piece of vintage lace that I cut that shape and a red button. And this right here, was a piece of fabric that I had from a thrift store that totally went with this, these colors. So I just cut a circle and then I cut the, the little petals. All right, and then this one right here isn't finished either, but this one, the back of it is the cotton batting. And then the front of it is the blue ticking. And then I did a little bit of vintage lace, which I snipped around it. And then the center is the batting with a little uh, blue and white ticking front on it. So these two are something that I'm still fiddling around with. I would make flowers 24 hours a day, seven days a week, if I didn't have to cook and clean and do all that other stuff. But um, anyways, I just wanted to show you that idea also, that you can use the cotton batting for part of your flower. You can use any kind of vintage lace or brand new lace. Um, my palette is mostly this creamy color with the ticking, but maybe your palette is different. Maybe your palette is bright white, or you don't have any white or cream in there at all. Is there a stiffer fabric best for these? Yes, there is. I like this fabric right here that I purchased at Walmart. It's kind of an oatmeal color. It's cotton canvas duck fabric. It was on a bolt. And I don't know what the weight is. I don't have that information anymore. This is my last piece of it too, so I'm gonna have to go get some more. But this is nice and stiff. Ooh, and I've also seen these made with painter's drop cloth. I don't have any of that right now, but you could do that because that's pretty. And in that instance, I don't know if I would wash it before I did it because can uh, canvas drop cloth is really nice and stiff. So that might be an instance where that would work great. But anyways, almost any fabric department is going to have this oatmeal -y colored. This one has little flecks in it cotton canvas duck fabric and it just frays up so nice it's great to work with um, and then the ticking also came from walmart fabric department and it was on a bolt so you have to have someone cut it 
Let's see, you just bought the drop cloth, yay. What about muslin? Well, I mean, you can use muslin, but that is a lot thinner. And I think it's gonna be more, um, just looking. I, I don't have anything to show you, but I, think, I don't think it's gonna stand up as well. But, absolutely, use what you have whenever possible. So if you have some of that, Try to make some flowers. And if you don't have the, um, the stuffing, but you have an old pillow, take that apart and use what's in the old pillow. Use whatever you have whenever you possibly can. That's my motto. And then it's completely unique to you. And you'll love it. Let's see. Oh my gosh, this Heidi is what Letty says. You're so sweet. Um, I'm pretty tickled with how these turned out. I'm gonna have a little bit of a hard time parting with them, but I will. I'll put two, I'll put, um, I'll probably make some more, but I'll, I'll put a set of three flowers in each of the two blessing boxes that I have coming up, and also I'll put some of these guys in with it too. Um, so watch for information on that, maybe towards the end of the weekend or early next week. Um, all right. Well, thank you guys for joining me. Let me lay out my flowers here um, so that you guys can take a screenshot if you want. And let's get some of this mess out of the way because it does look terrible. So there's those. Here's this set. Let's see where I am in the screen. And then here's these other ones. I'll bring my camera down just a little bit lower also. And, wow, I have a disaster area here. Here's this one. I see everything. No, you cannot. You need to come over this way more. Okay, well, that might be about the best I can get it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me. Feel free to take a screenshot here if you would like. I will get pictures of everything, and I'll put those in the comments. I'll also put them separate, um, just as a post here at DIY Dreaming. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, this is the fabric stiffener. Again, if you wanted to see it. Um, this is what the little flower wire, uh, fabric, uh, floral wire looks like, and this is what the skewers look like. So, let me let this run just for a moment or two, and then I will say goodbye. And we'll see you guys, probably not again today, but definitely tomorrow. Okie dokie. Thank you guys for joining me. I will see you again tomorrow. Bye. We should put our Easter bunnies in here just because they're feeling lonely and sad. Alrighty, see you guys later. Thank you so much for the stars, everyone. Bye.